Welcome back. We's in the middle of a test drive, pulled off to the side of the road. We're gonna do a walk around over here, point out any kind of flaws we can find on this 1966 model Nova. If you're new to the channel, check out maplemotors.com. We have financing, shipping, parts, accessories, all of our inventory. Uh, we have pricing on everything on the website and we update that every Monday. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're gonna get started here. This car has got a 350 with aluminum heads under the hood. Does not have power steering, but we do have front disc brakes, aftermarket set of American racing wheels. Pretty decent paint job on it. I'm gonna be picking every flaw I can find and give you some undercarriage shots, show off the interior and the trunk, and uh, hopefully you'll know everything about it. Definitely check out both videos before you give us a call. I'll link them up here at the end. Starting up here in the front, you can tell the bumper's not brand new, but it is in great shape. Nice, clean, same with the front end. Headlight bezels are quite aged. You can see they got a little bit of pitting on them. Coming down the side, what I like to do is start on the bottom and then come back to midsection, hit the top. Skinny's on the front, good tires, coming around the fender well, looks fairly straight. Right up here in this door, we got some rust bubbles trying to come back through the corner of that door. There's a little spot right here in the middle of the door as well. You can see where somebody's kicked the panel there and knocked a chip in it. Looks like some bubbles popping up right there in the crease and a little crack. And down a little bit more. Back section is in great shape. Nice tires on the rear. Coming back to mid section here. It's pretty good so far. We got some pitting on our door handle. Mirrors are fairly new. The top of that fender is in great shape as well. We will be shutting the hood down towards the end of the video, checking it out. Looks like there's a little bubble right here in the middle of it, but we'll get to that here in a moment. Windshield's in great shape. Trim looks fairly new. Somebody has replaced that. All the trim around the windows is in good shape. Of course, the vent windows, it seems like must be a hard piece. There's always oxidation popping up on them when everything else is replaced looking around this roof before we make it too far a little scratch there we have a tiny dent in the trim here back area here is starting to crack they, they always do right there A little light scratch on the back windshield. That's on the inside. They must have had tent. Somebody took it off. Coming around this back end, you can see the back bumper is probably the same age as the front. It's not too bad. It looks pretty good. The weather stripping around the trunk needs to be glued in there better. But it is healthy. It doesn't look old. Checking out that trunk lid. Down here in the trunk, you can tell the pans have not been replaced. There's a little bit of water sitting down in here too. There's a hole back here in the corner. Looking up in the package tray, getting pretty good shape. Checking out both sides, fenders are in good shape too. A little bit of rust back here in the corner. Got some silicone work there, trying to seal up the drains, couple little holes around that, just a little weak trunk here.
go ahead and shut this down shuts and locks pretty good got a little scuff on the paint back here a little bit of stuff here on the trunk a couple bubbles in this area or dimples I'd say chip in the paint back here all right doing the same thing down this side we're gonna start on the bottom come back to mid and hit the top a little bubble popping up there there's a dent in the door a couple chips on the bottom part here Real light bubbles popping up on the front fender. It's very small stuff. Looks like a chip right there in the corner from the tire. Coming down the mid section here, you can see on the front, a little bit blemished. Door handle's got some oxidation on it. Newer gas cap. Chip in the paint right there. Now hitting the top section, you can see the tail light's got a little bit of haze to it as well. Small dent right here on top above the gas cap. Blemish there. A couple little dimples in the paint. All the trim looks nice and clean. Little spot there and there. Also have a chip here. All right. So we've made it around the car. We're gonna be shutting the hood here in a moment uh, after we get it started. Let's check this interior out. And then we'll get us some undercarriage shots. Bucket seats, our shifter. Go ahead, place your best. Do you think the horn works? The seats are in great condition. I wish I got my bag sitting there full of gear, but it is fine right up under it. You need seat belts for the front. Uh, the rear already has seat belts. The door panel is in great shape here. Coming around it, we're gonna check the underside. Doesn't look too bad at all. This trim piece has been replaced. The jam looks good. The carpet's been replaced. It's nice and clean. Got some pitting on your steering wheel here. Did y'all place your bets? Let's see if the horn works. It's not hooked up on this one. That's something that'll have to be added. Coming across the dash. It's got a little crack there. And there. Old school radio, I doubt it works. Headliner's nice and tight. Let's turn it on. We do got some aftermarket gauges down here and they, uh, the temp and the oil pressure works. Something they did with the temp gauge, they put it right beside the header. It does not read correctly by the header. You gotta change that location. I noticed like within a minute, the temperature gauge was off. The old radio's not working, blower motor's not set up. These gauges are kinda locked in here. Uh, we need a switch for our windshield wipers. They're located up here and they're, they look fairly new. But we don't have a switch here, so they're not going to work without a switch. And our gas gauge is not working. I can't stand behind mileage because there's not it's not the original motor. And this is a 66 model. Just going over all that. Console's in really good shape. 
Okay. some new insulation looks like they ripped the old off if you look on the edge of this hood you can see some paint runs just the passenger side comes down nice and easy Still gotta pull that handle to shut it. You got a little bubble in your hood right here. Also right here. And in the middle. If y'all can see it, I'm trying my best to get that angle there. Now I'm going to give you some undercarriage shots. We're going to start up in the front, go all the way around the car, and I do have 100 detailed pictures available at maplemotors.com. Uh, constantly upgrading uh, undercarriage shots, so I'll be looking for uh, better shots here in the near future. We're going to start up here in the front. y'all watching check out that test drive video if you want to know more about this car go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i want to thank y'all for sharing these videos you're the ones getting my videos out there there's a lot of people that say oh i was recommended i appreciate that very much you can go to maplemotors.com you can get financed you can get a shipping quote anywhere in the country and also see all of our inventory i'm gonna hit the road with this car we're gonna take off and go for a ride. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys. Go ahead, click that walk around video here. It uh, should be popping up about right now on your screen. Get to walk around or test drive on any of these cars that I post.